But the interesting part is the lower we go down, I want you to feel that your knee is actually drifting towards the outside of your foot. And welcome back to MaurisPersonFitness.com. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the backward lunge. It's a great exercise I use with most of my patients who have ankle, hip, knee, or back pain. That could be you watching right now. I don't know. But it is a brilliant exercise to introduce mobility as well as strength. So if that sounds like you, then stick around. Now to get the most bang for your buck doing the backward lunge, I like using a chair and some socks and a floor that you might find a little bit easier to slide on. Now the reason I want us to do the backward lunge this way is not just to create strength in your quads, glutes, hamstrings and maybe even lower back, but also I want to create mobility in those structures, your ankles, your knees and your hips as much as possible. Then we create strength after building that new mobility and that is overall at the end of the day is what we are looking for when we're doing any type of compound exercise whether it is a squat whether it is a lunge whether it is any push pull activity like a push-up we always need mobility first and then we replace it with strength and stability so i'm going to show you how we get started now another thing is some of you might find this harder than others i'm using a chair some people might get away with using yoga blocks or turning the chair the other way, depending on how your mobility is at the moment. Not all of us are created equal. I know the older we get, the more sedentary we get, the stiffer we get. Also, we might be dealing with hip or knee replacements um, or pain. So this exercise is brilliant for addressing all of those issues at the same time. So just keep in mind, where all our abilities are at different levels. So always be aware of what your abilities are. And if you feel unsafe doing this exercise, please don't do it ask a healthcare provider or anybody else to assist you with this exercise. But other than that, this is a brilliant exercise and also a very safe exercise just to get you started. Having said that, we're gonna start off with standing with a chair with its back facing me because this might be a little bit easier for people to start with. Now, we get into our position. So to start, we're going to start with our feet not right up against each other. We're going to start them slightly narrower than shoulder width so there's a little bit of a space in between my feet then i want you to think about pushing your hips slightly towards the back without bending the knees too much you just want to keep the knees nice and soft and then as you've got your position slightly forward leaning onto the chair i want you to think about moving your right foot without picking it up i want you to just slide it lifting the heel sliding your foot backwards in that same line that it was next to your other foot and go into your backward lunge. You can hold that position for a second and then come back up again. And we're going to repeat. We always incorporate our breathing with our movements. I want you to think about breathing in on the way down and breathing out on the way up. Always breathing out on effort. We're gonna go again, breathing in and out. Now I'm gonna do one more, then I'm going to pause at the bottom and as I stop there, I want to show you that my knee is in line with my toe and also my foot remains straight. But the interesting part is the lower we go down, I want you to feel that your knee is actually drifting towards the outside of your foot. In fact, from the position I'm sitting, I can see my entire foot from where I'm sitting. So my knee is actually completely on the outside of my front foot. I can feel the stretch on my back quad and my toe and my heel or well, my heel is pointing upwards and my toes are pointing downwards. I'm not changing the position of my back foot. And then from there, I can come back up again, breathing out, and we repeat. Now, for some of you, you might just go up to that position. That's fine. If you feel that you are getting a little bit of a pinch inside the groin here, I want you to think about moving your hip out. If you can't use the muscles on the outside because it's too tight, just use the leg to push or your hand to push your, your knee slightly towards the outside and you'll feel that it's opening up a little bit more space for you there. So you can feel your actual hips articulating right through where they need to be and then push through the heel, coming back up and back again. Let's go for a few more, breathing in. I'm leaning forward, my, back, my chest is up but I'm still leaning my body weight forward and I can feel this glute is taking up a lot of the work. Breathe out. 
and one more breathe in now you might just start with two or three or five on each side and out because it's really about building strength and mobility at the same time and out and relax and we repeat the same on both sides now again you might feel that you can only go down halfway maintain a straight back but a forward leaning upper body that's very important if you want to get that glute involved on the side that you are doing your lunges if you like this video please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and please comment and tell me how your lunges are going and if there's anything in the future you would like me to post leave it down below see you in the next video